from Avon. How are you doing? So on Tuesday night we're gonna have a little release party and chat and interview with our friends from Dublin Metal Gaps. So it's gonna be on their YouTube channel on Tuesday night at 9 p.m. CET. So I guess I'm gonna see you there. Bye! Hello, hello everyone, welcome to the Metal Galaxy. Wow. Hi. <laughs> so tonight we have a returning guest from Italy, Research and from Italy. Research, can you introduce Lucille to us? And Lucille, can you introduce Research to us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I let you, you know, the Madame, okay, to, to, to be the first. <laughs> Madame, uh, Madame. Uh, let me introduce Madame. you, Richard, the mastermind behind the modern female metal band Avum from Italy. He plays the keyboard and composes the music and also sings somehow, if we can say so. <laughs> <laughs> and he wears a mask. Mm. <laughs> and glasses. You, you said well actually because you said not symphonic metal band because we have a sort of problem that <laughs> there are people that are saying why on metal archives you are uh, you are signed like a symphonic, symphonic metal band yes 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 actually we we don't know well maybe we, we, we were symphonic but now we are something else but something Richard else. you have to introduce me please uh, uh, you know the drums, uh, yeah. you know some drum roll, something like that. We need, you know, something we big to, uh, the, to, uh, yeah. <laughs> to buy flowers and buy many things because she's the best. No, on the other side, she's the best. She's wonderful. She's magnificent. She's our star. Uh, I, I, I could continue all night. And so, Lucy! Thank you. Applause, you know, applause. Cool, cool. No, okay. fine. We are so glad to be here again with, with, with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you a lot to Thanks invite us. Thanks for coming again to sunny Dublin today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and thank you because start. you you do an amazing work for yeah. bands and for the community. It's really nice to be here with you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, actually, we it's love... incredible. We started We started two years ago. You know, yes. we were yes. uh, between the first bands you interviewed. Yes. And actually, during these two years, you interviewed so many bands. You had the chance, you know, to also to, to meet them. It's so important band. So we are glad to be between the first to, to be interviewed <laughs> by you. Yes, yes. That Thank is great. You, but the, the important thing is to see you live also. All I, I'm doing the job. I'm just uh, uh, sharing your, go, your go. post. <laughs> no worries. So when you are sharing the post, maybe Lucille can uh, des uh, describe your band AFM in just one word. One word? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Evolving. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. I agree with Amazing. This. No, well, no. Evolving. Because as <laughs> yeah, Richard... evolving. I mean, amazing. It. I think what I write in my reviews and what I see, Avon is evolving from the first albums to the one you have now Glitz. Yeah. Uh, as Richard said, and as you noticed, because thank you, uh, you took... Uh, your time to listen to our works and you did it well i re read what you wrote and it's amazing because you 
got everything we wanted to say so thank you from the deep of our hearts uh yes evolving because we were more of a symphonic metal band gothic you know in a classical way mm-hmm. uh but now we are something very different and as richard likes to say <laughs> uh, he likes to experiment in composing a lot so this album is a bit the the, the song of the pandemic, you know. So that's what came out <laughs> from the lockdown. And, you know, I, I think that it's important for artists, musicians, no, no matter what, which type of art you, you are doing, to try to also to, to exit and overcome your comfort zone. So you start maybe in a way, I always respected artists that they are, they decide to do their stuff all their career but on my opinion in my opinion i prefer to try to go further to experiment to try to do something else if not it will be boring for me uh, as an artist as a musician so this is why we try every time to that to to get some inspiration by other things that can happen in our life and then to, to move on, to try to do something else, something different. So this is why we, we, we focus on evolution. Exactly, and that's great when you are a listener, you can just listen when you are in a different mood to a different album, album or like you can discuss the albums and it's always like a surprise what you will just hear. It's amazing for a viewer's perspective as it's evolving as well when you're just listening. Ah, look, mm-hmm. Nick is double. <laughs> There's a glitch. <laughs> double and frozen. <laughs> Yes, there's a glitch. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, that's true. Actually, Guys. when when you are yes. evolving so it. much, when you are evolving so much, the risk is that um, maybe some of your followers will be disappointed because they were expecting to repeat something you already did in the past. And you will get new followers. So there is always a balance between people that are disappointed because you're totally changed, maybe, from the past, and people that actually discovered you and maybe the past, the past weren't attracted by your what you were proposing. And right now, because you changed, well, you are more interesting. So there is always this balance between this situation. It's We know it, and we did. We prefer we accept to it. <laughs> we accept it. You know, it's it's what we, we like to do. That's what art is meant to be: spark discussion and just to be a musician, an artist. Good. Well, nice Nick, work. Yeah. So, guys, was any new new techniques or approaches approaches that you experimented in this uh, album? <laughs> Definitely. Uh, um, you know, we started because actually we two years ago with Multiverse, we had the chance to, to, to start a path with uh, our new, our label, Dartunes Music Group. Uh, I think that... With Glitch, we started something that is more um, similar to what Dark mu- Music, uh, Dark Tunes Music Group is doing. <clears throat> I mean, about the Gothic world, uh, the experimental in industrial metal, EBM. So it was a not not some something where we planned or we did it on purpose, but it was just our natural evolution. Uh, already in Multiverse, we were adding electronic sounds. And also the for Lucille part, we were transforming her way to sing, uh, to try to overcome just the lyric and opera vocals okay. and try to more more modern and uh, hard sounds for, for her. That was something that she wasn't used, but right now she's managing very well. Mm-hmm. She forced me to, he forced me to do that. So 
<laughs> but also <laughs> yes. in the music there are new I never forced you. <laughs> actually I always uh, she disappeared <laughs> actually <Yeah>. I <laughs> kick me out <laughs> uh, I, I never forced you actually I was saying that I'm <clears throat> I'm able to pers I'm persuade you so I'm able to, yeah. to, to find the right key to convince her to sing in that way <laughs> But also, uh, the huge news is that Richard <laughs> sings in all no, sings, sings, uh, tracks. Uh -huh. Also, my mother, she says oh. that I'm not singing well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, I was speaking to Richard about this one day. Uh, and Richard was like, no, no, we, I'm not singing. I'm just <laughs> doing something. He was being so humble. And I'm like, this is amazing, Richard. You have a great voice. <laughs> I agree. No, actually, I am, I'm still learning. What I can do a bit is growling, but growling, I was used to do it a uh, long time ago. I started a long time ago. And right now, I'm, I'm start learning uh, with the help of Lucille. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm not a very good student. <laughs> but maybe next album, we have a new <laughs> singing partner. You maybe. research. Maybe <laughs> he practices while he drives. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Really wrong. Yeah, because it's the only time that I have free for practicing. So when I'm driving, I sing out loud. Well, just imagine this scene: a man that's driving and <laughs> practices no, I, I don't, growling. I don't, I don't have to practice grow. I practice where I'm bad. You know, normal singing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If not, it will be like I'm vomiting during driving. Yeah. Puking Terrible. and driving. What? Well, not bad. <laughs> Let's get back to Glitz. So, you see, you have a visitor? <laughs> yeah, sorry. My cat is just running from one way to another. Sorry. Ah, to no me. problem. <laughs> no, so, no, no, no. If Maybe I'm we can correct question. you. We can do some questions. <laughs> cat to the questions. cat. But <laughs> but now to um yes. <laughs> ah look we have undermined our responding on our discussion maybe next album is about all about researching Oprah and Lucia <laughs> Lecrae <Le Grand. laughs> <laughs> why not what next we step for Lucille <laughs> we yes. couldn't exclude anything so <laughs> we'll never know why not cool, cool. why not why not <laughs> Yes. This is what I want to hear. <laughs> Amazing. New stuff, new experience. You should do like a Kickstarter. <laughs> no, yes. today today actually was yeah. thinking <laughs> about new frontiers or new border for music. And you know, I was reading about the the market business, music market business that actually is doing not bad. Um but we have to explore and what what is the music ten trends right now? Well, TikTok, YouTube, more Instagram. And so maybe there are more and more composers that actually just think music about reels, about video on TikToks. So everything is changing. Sometimes it's sad, but sometimes maybe it, it will be the yeah. future. Great. So let's get back uh, to uh, Glitz. If I'm correct, your first album impression was theatrical. Next one was uh, symphonic. Multiverse was a bit uh, different. And this one explores a different side. Like Richard put, it's not uh, a hard song, but I would describe it EBM, electronic, body music, industrial. So I'm wondering how was the sound being bored? Let's go this direction, basically. Well, actually, um, I have to say that we just released some days ago uh, the single called Lullaby. And Lullaby just came up. Uh, several weeks later, we finished the, uh, the mixing and the mastering of the album Multiverse. Uh, we were already talking, you know, our guitarist, Emmanuel, that she, she's our sound engineer and she uh, master uh, the, the genius man that is behind even and the sound of even 
the production of Vivum. Uh, she told me actually, yeah, actually it would be better not to wait three years this time uh, between albums as to start immediately to write the new songs. So I do it, I did it, and the time the first songs we I, I wrote it was Lullaby. And actually it was already sounding totally different from Multiverse. And I don't know why I liked it. So the idea I continue in that way. Then you know, glitch has like multiverse. Yeah, focus on maybe or more on industrial EBM, but at the same time, well, we have some songs that go in a total different uh, way. I could say for What's in a Name, uh, Glitch, the song, um, Lucretia, Desire, uh, Wish I Had More Time, that actually are not really electro-industrial, uh, but they go in a different way, like we did in the past. Also, our, in our first album, impression we you can hear so different sounds from jazz from electro from uh theatrical sort of more symphonic so it's something that actually this is our something that is belong to our the adn so it's something that's really belongs to us the the, the fact that we like to explore this inside the same album different <laughs> uh different genre of music yeah, exactly. Um, so, um, yeah, so that's that. And we spoke a bit that Lucille was, well, we, use, we explained to all Forsting. But Lucille, how was it for you to go with this style of singing and so on? Well, uh, <laughs> I've always sung opera in my life and I still do. Uh, and sometimes some people uh, believe that it's not possible to uh, mix, you know, the techniques. It's you sing opera and you just sing opera. But I don't believe it, and so does Richard. Uh, and even when I wasn't so sure that would work, uh, he always encouraged me. <laughs> I would say convinced me. Uh, and then it was fun to to experiment also with the effects on the voice. Uh, but the most fun thing that really I, I surprised myself that I could do it was singing Lady Gaga, which I never yes. did in my life. <laughs> that was. I remember. I remember that day actually. Uh, because uh, it was uh, an amazing project uh, made by our label that sent us was November something like that uh, mm -hmm. of 2020, and he said to us, uh, "Guys, I had a project in our in my mind. I would like to well do a compilation of covers, pop covers in a metal way," and so he gave us a list of songs. And uh, for me, Lady Gaga, Poker Face was a song that all, all my life was really important because it was so funny, so catchy. I liked it immediately when I heard her a long time ago. And I suggest the, this song to Lucille. And I remember till the day we recorded the song, she has... She had so many doubts, so many doubts. I was telling her, but no, you will do it. Don't worry. Don't worry. And actually, she she did like usual, an amazing job. But, you know, Lucille, it appears, when you see you see her, it appears so uh, with a, self, a strong self-confidence. But actually, when she records, she doesn't have this uh, self confidence. She <laughs> almost lost. It's like, oh, no, I'm not good. No, I can't do it. And then she, she does an amazing job. So, <laughs> my yeah. role is to convince her and then to force her to do it because I, I know that she will, she will be able to do it. Yeah, yeah it's sadly true. I really like this, is one of the particular uh, reasons I love Glitz because you see that Lucille is using different voice techniques. You're just 
looking at that and you're like, whoa, Lucille is evolving as well. Like <laughs> you hear a different side, side. And one of the reasons I love this album so much as this was like a huge surprise just hearing coming out to sound like. Sure. But Thank actually, you. I have to say one thing, uh, Lucille. Maybe she doubts about uh, recording session when she's singing. She always say, I have to um, mm -hmm. uh, improve myself, especially when she also she's studying for opera and she mm -hmm. maybe she has a concert, an opera concert. She always have this this phase, negative phase where she's saying, <laughs> ah, no, maybe I'm not as I'm not really good. But it's something that she never doubts about herself. And when mm -hmm. she she uh, she records for videos on that she's a like a, a real born uh, star she always <laughs> prepares she always like okay i'm the star and actually for me she's <laughs> she's the best when she sings but when she record video she is able also to do better so i should have been an actress yeah 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 you should be <laughs> more than a singer <laughs> <laughs> both or maybe both, both. Yeah, both. both. Yeah, musicals, I could say. Yeah, good stuff. So, guys, uh, did you record any additional tracks uh, that uh, you didn't put in this album? Um, we record actually for people that decide to buy the the physical version of uh, Glitch. We add Poker mm -hmm. Face because Poker Face. Uh, yeah. actually is included just I mean, on Spotify in uh, our label compilation, pop, uh, Hard Pop uh, mm -hmm. Volume 1 uh, of Dark Tunes. If not, you can find on Glitch on Spotify the Poker, Poker Face Day version. Uh, but if you buy the physical version of Glitch, you will find the, as a bonus track Poker Face. Great. But any other any other tracks that you you record but not for this album, no? Not uh, for now. But maybe for the future. Okay. Top <laughs> secret. <laughs> we are working on. Yeah, I'm working on surprises oh, okay. and evolution. Avon <laughs> mm -hmm. went through oh, a okay. lot of lineup changes uh, in Glitz. Can you introduce the new members and how did it impact Glitz? You, you will do it, uh, Lucilla? Or... Uh, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes. <laughs> I think that the main lineup change from multiverse uh was uh the leaving of our male voice singer dennis uh mm -hmm. before glitch before the recordings of glitch uh and that's when richard decided mm -hmm. to go on his quest and learn how to sing and actually studying and recorded all songs. Um, and I think he, he did an amazing job and th that helped in some way That's not true. Uh, to change <laughs> yeah, the sound of the whole band because that's a big part in the evolution of the, of the songs because obviously he, he has a different voice, so we had to adapt the songs to to his voice uh and after what and dennis is a hydra right yeah, yeah. hydra so, yeah he, he was hydra more was of his, a, his nickname yeah of a tenor heavy metal voice uh mm -hmm. while richard has a lower and more growly voice so obviously all the vocal lines had to be uh, adjusted, uh, but it worked, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, and then after the recordings, we also changed uh, our drummer. It was uh, a really nice thing in a way because uh, our old drummer, Cozy, 
was actually uh, the teacher of our new drummer, Lorenzo. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, it was a symbolic, you know, here's the stick. And then, like I said, that actually Cosimo recorded a glitch yeah. uh, with us. Uh, his decision to 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 quit the band actually was made because uh, you know during life you have changes and he, he wasn't able to to follow us anymore. Uh, but he still, you know, it was one of the 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 most easy, I think, uh, the easiest uh, way we 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 split with someone inside the band uh, because in general when when you have some changes. Every time, you know, it's not so easy to, to manage. Uh, but this time was so friendly and we are still in contact. Uh, you know, in our WhatsApp chat, uh, Cosimo is still there. We, we're still talking. And actually, I was discussing with him one day. We said that, you know, uh, Lorenzo made uh, some several months ago a cover of our song Tahir. So why not to to propose to Lorenzo if uh, she, he wants to to join the band? And he did mm -hmm. it. And actually, right now, uh, <laughs> is doing an amazing job. Uh, is the uh, the problem is that he's young compared to us. He's uh, much younger, and so we he has so and a, a new enthusiasm that we weren't used to. You know, like. Uh, Getting older, we, we lost also a bit of uh, energies. And he, like a uh, young man, he has so many energies. He's a good student. She learns immediately the songs. And so we were really, really pleased about uh, uh, the new this, this new member. And we are sure that for the future, we will do something good, for sure. That's good. That's perfect. Ag is gone. <laughs> she, she, she disappeared. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, yeah. Everybody, she disappearing except me for now. Yes. I could, I could yeah. know. Be Just careful. From the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Yes. From the chair. Sorry, but it comes, so I was like, next. let's do it, please. Come. <laughs> yeah, uh, cool. thank you for introducing all the members. Uh, so. So yeah, welcome. Right. Marion, so let, uh, let us now talk about the artworks and videos. So I wonder how did you bring the sound and concept alive? <laughs> okay, Brazil. that's a very good question. Is because that that, that's job? what... <laughs> yeah, that's the, <laughs> my favorite part of Yay. the job, except singing, obviously. Um, <laughs> well. Let's start from the title, Glitch, uh, and from the artwork. Um, you know, all of our albums are, in a way, concept albums. Uh, we had, uh, you know, this chronia, the travel between space and time, multiverse, the multiple realities, and now this glitch, like a mistake in yes. the universe. So in... <laughs> On the cover, there are the three, you know, from Greek mythology, <laughs> the park, parks. This uh, one? Yeah. You know, the three women that manipulate the lives of men with a thread. Okay. The one that makes you, you know, be born. Then the other one that, you know, use the thread. And the last one that cuts the thread. I don't know the name in English of these figures. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know Can someone help me? Yes. Big quiz on the yes. YouTube. I'm going to look it up later. Yes. Um, so we, you know, reflected on seeing life as a glitch in a universe. Uh, and that's wh where we began uh, and found uh, the theme for all the songs. In every song of the album, there is a glitch in some way. And you can also see it in the videos that then we, we create. If I can add this, um, for me, uh, Lucille, uh, 
she did an amazing job every time because we maybe start with proposing you know inside the bands maybe the music but then you have to give or create a sort of soul for for the entire project and as i already i'm always talking about this but for me when you are creating an album is a beautiful process because it's like you are in front of a white canvas canvas and you don't know where you were you are going so it's like you know you have a puzzle also and you don't have the the final image of the puzzle so you start at the beginning it's really hard to 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 try to put together the, the pieces but after a while you start to imagine and to think what it will be the the final goal and lucille during this path she's able to understand uh maybe what she, what it will be the, the right uh, concept. And she gave us a, a direction. She, she started with this, mm, this for instance, uh, idea of glitch. She was able to, pro, to, to propose a sort of look. Now, you, our club, club dress code was made by Lucille idea. And actually, she was following this flow of glitch. And for me, it was impossible. You know, if I have to think a dress code and to ex- to try to, I don't know, to express the glitch uh, meaning between the dress code, it, w- it was an impossible challenge for me. But she did it. She did it she, in a simple way. She, she was able to create the dress code. And she did it also for lyrics for the songs till to the videos. Uh, videos, actually, every time... <clears throat> We are basing our videos maybe from the lyrics for for the songs, but sometimes also uh, we wanted also to transmit this idea of glitch. And through our director, uh, we put just the input about the idea, and then the director were, was able to create different videos with different colors. Uh, for me, they they were able. The entire team were able was able to to create an amazing job. Great, great story about uh, mm-hmm. the artwork. So just to get it straight, so the glitz in the videos, like for example, like uh, Holy Alex or like Lula Baby, where do we exactly see the glitz happening? Okay. Me as a woman is a glitch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big glitch. Okay. Uh, I just have to add one thing. I found out uh, what the name in English of this uh, my- mythological figure is. It's fates. The fate. Okay. So maybe and, that... and I found the names. If you want. <laughs> okay, very good. And uh, in uh, I would because say there are Greeks, Greek, Greek yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. You, you know it very well, Nick. The name is very <laughs> strange and difficult. If you yeah. want, I can I, I can say. Okay, <laughs> right, say right, it, go on. The names are Clotho, 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 Lachesis, and Atropos. 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 Yes. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember, so I I, I googled it. <laughs> yeah, I did the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in all the yeah, Alex, I think that the, the, it's uh, all glitchy. I mean, we wanted to, uh, you know, propose different versions of us from a very elegant, normal way type of look Mm -hmm. from an extreme one. And then they were all mixed together with different backgrounds. So that's a sort of visual glitch. For example, in Lullaby, the whole song is a glitch in a way that uh, if you watch the video, there is this girl that puts on the... um, in ears and she gets into this crazy word and mm-hmm. then she takes them off and oops 
what happened. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe we, but that was a dream or maybe a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I should really watch them. I was more distracted by everything happening there <laughs> than... <laughs> No, Let's it's something that actually I'm really proud of. Uh, of this. Uh, I'm really <laughs> proud of what we did in the last uh, six months through five different videos we released. Uh, it was a lot of work for us, you know, creating and preparing all these videos. But actually, I'm really, really, really happy about the results. Uh, especially because we did five videos, but in five videos we were able thank to our director Alex Buffalo and by Alex video uh, to create different type of videos too. You know, you start with Black Swan Fury, you go to Austerlitz, you go to uh, Holy Holy Alex till Lala by N Seven. Actually, to have five different uh, atmospheres, five different moods. Uh, five different cuts, uh, lights, um, effects. So, actually, no, for me, uh, our director was able to do an amazing job, and I'm really proud about the result. Uh, thank you also to our label, we were able to, to diffuse our videos through his channel and to get people attracted about also the, the strong images that we yeah. wanted to, to send to, to the audience. Yeah, according to me, like when I was watching first, trying to understand, but it was good, I loved the video. I just wanted to know because it's quite different, like the music. Like for some reason, it spoke to me and it reminded me of EBM and industrial battle and I just wanted to get the small details into it and yeah the rest of it they were also that different angle each of them is unique and it really grabbed your attention yeah, but the, the problem is that <laughs> right mm -hmm. now when you are doing videos like that, sometimes you are we we suffer some shadow ban from social media. Because yeah. actually, for instance, oh, Holly Alex, he didn't perform like the other videos uh, because of that. Uh, YouTube consider yeah, consider oh, Holly Alex because I'm without I, I don't have t-shirts. So for YouTube, it's too extreme, and so we were we were kind of what uh, with all the things that you can find on YouTube for yeah. for YouTube policy, it was too extreme. So this is why we suffer a sort of shadow ban from. The Maybe they were not used to Italians doing this kind of stuff, and they were like, "What? No, bad, bad. because if you look like German EBM industrial metal, you." I know, I know. But yeah, that's the point. Like, but the problem was, it was everywhere. You know, uh, just my, our boss, and he was telling us that he struggled uh, just to promote the last days uh, for our video, Lullaby. He struggled to promote the, the video on Instagram and Facebook because for the same reasons, sexual references, you know, uh, well, <laughs> too much. But you okay. know, <laughs> Very when, <laughs> when like we are not so strict, in a few times people will be digging these videos and are like, mm, "This was juicy. This was amazing." <laughs> it's very strong. Don't watch yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. So we know what the viewers are going to do today. It's forbidden. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, we are about to clip. So we have here a few comics. So we talked a bit about Holy Alex, but as well the glitch references and so on. So and Armada said, "Oh, now the Holy Alex makes sense." So oh, really happy. I wonder if Andromeda was also experiencing the video as juicy or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it it was more fun than dirty, but I don't know. I'm not a <laughs> YouTube policy expert. But so She spanks me so many times during the Holy Alex. <laughs> but she heard me. But, uh, Hello. Mm. I did. <laughs> the problem is that I, I wasn't enjoying it, you know, uh, <laughs> nothing in the, that guy kind of, of thing. It was a fake. 
But no, uh, she likes to spank me. She likes to very much to spank me many times. <laughs> but the problem is that right now she's proposing me to redo it for the live shows. So oh, okay. yeah, because we are preparing live shows and yes. during Holy Alex, we have to do like a bit of a show. No, so... no, no. <laughs> Uh, Richard course, is going to be blue after the gig. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's going to survive. She heard me. Uh, so yeah, that was what I heard from Richard when I was talking. That was the first thing he said about Holly Alex. So for this reason, I'm wondering any bloopers or any bad behavior you want to, to share with us regarding <laughs> videos you, you recorded. <laughs> yeah, so many. <laughs> So many, well, because especially for Lullaby, I, for me it was uh, like a dream. It was be, be between 